is so cool because it's like, it's the newspaper, it's the social media, it's the word on the street, it's everything that's happening in the South. It's telling you what is happening, giving you a whole picture of what's happening. And for me in Discovery, you want to ask questions, you want to have full confidence that the data you're using are going to work to answer the question. And that's something that we do really, really well. We've got a proprietary technology in RNA, and so what we're looking to do is to unravel the transcriptome. That is, what are the coding genes? There's about 20,000 of them. And we've essentially progressed that technology over the last 10 years to whole transcriptome work. A transcriptome panel is really a tool that allows you to measure the concentration, the amounts of all transcripts present in the sample. We're the HTG technology really shines is the ability to work with either small or partially uh, degraded samples. Our EdgeSeq technology is the core to our company. Uh, that technology allows our customers to really leverage the intersection of targeted hybridization and next generation sequencing. In August of this year, we launched what I believe to be a game changer, not only for HTG, but for the market. Our HTG transcriptome panel, or what we call HTP allowing us for the first time to do a complete transcriptomic profiling from a single slide. I think one of the big benefits of our technology is that it's extremely versatile. You could use it in early discovery and in translational research and biomarker discovery, drug developments, and, and of course in diagnostics. That suddenly opened up our thinking because the question was, where else could we apply this technology? Where else could we add a lot of value? Where else could we potentially be very disruptive? The big picture opportunity with RNA, through the ability to sequence the entire human transcriptome and use it, opens up an enormous opportunity in identifying new druggable targets across multiple therapy areas. There aren't enough drugs getting to the clinic. And the reason for that is that they fail along the way. We wanted to think about how do we look at this paradigm a little bit differently? Could we use transcriptomic profiling to say, hey, what can we learn about a drug right up front where we still have time to go back and make a change? We're always trying to increase our knowledge of any given target or candidate molecule in an effort to de-risk it. The overall vision of applying state-of-the-art technologies so early on the drug discovery process is incredibly exciting. And with the simplicity of the edge seek process, you have a lot of confidence. You prep the sample, that's really easy. You put it on the processor, that's all automated. You put it on the sequencer, you do the data workflow, it's really, really simple. So when you get to the data, you look at it and you think, I feel really confident that the, these data faithfully represent my sample. Our technology solves real problems. Uh, it's a very robust technology, because in the real world, you have less sample, you don't have more. You have less time, you don't have more. So the ability to actually have a technology that you can actually use, that's got high reliability, that enables you to do things you otherwise just can't do, opens doors of opportunity. So we believe this can actually help improve patient care. It's going to make building new medicines and new drugs faster and less expensive than today. Because our, our whole mission in precision medicine is to get the right drug to the right patient. And we believe our technology you know, can't solve the whole world's problems, but we can make a big difference. When I look at what we do and why we do it, you know, the whole idea is this work means something. It has the potential to mean something to somebody who I will never meet, who none of us will ever meet, but we have the potential to change their lives.